What's up, YouTube fans? How are you guys today? Well, we got a disassembly for you guys today. We're going to take apart this old uh, uh, case here. So it's a 5.25 uh, external uh, case for a CD, uh, CD drive, DD drive, and also a hard drive. It's an old one. It's a IAD uh, interface, but not a SATA interface. Um, the problem is uh, this thing doesn't work anymore. It's so dusty on the inside. You should clean them when you are uh, using them. You should clean them uh, once a month or once a year to keep the dust down on the inside of the case. But the problem is what happened in this case is because it has a built-in fan, you can't just turn the fan off and stuff like that to uh, keep the dust down. But the fans in there for a reason to keep the whole drive cool and also the DVD drive. But actually, we're just gonna just tear this thing down, right? But we also have the power adapter for it as well. We're gonna be testing out how noisy the fan is on this case. It's an awesome case. And it's pretty cool, but eh, what you can do, it doesn't last forever, guys. You gotta clean the dust out, but let's go ahead and show you what type of this type this case. It's a pretty nice uh, aluminum case. You can see here with a uh, standard DVD drive uh, will fit right there. Nothing really on that side except for a couple of heat sinks. This whole uh, piece is a heat sink. And you can see there's a culprit. Look at that dust. Look at how dusty it is on the inside. And we're just going to go ahead and take it apart. Headphones, USB 2.0, power 12 volts and also a on and off switch to turn the unit off as well and we also got two little thumb screws right here before we can actually take apart this case now what caused all this i don't know it's just uh very very old and you can see how very dusty this case is look at how much dust is inside that that's not good for that, uh, your hard drive or your DVD drives. If you're also going to be using a drive on the inside of this uh, type of case. But one thing you can do if you really want to is disconnect the fan from <coughs> the little logic board that's on the inside of uh, this case as well. Now, this case does come with uh, some things. Here you have the status light, power LED light, stuff like that. And you see, it's just all that caked up dust. And we also have the audio cable because this has a headphone jack. And this also has the IED 40 pin uh, cable here. And also the 12 volt uh, cable as well. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take off this datum plate to get that fan out because we need to clean that fan as well but we don't really have anything to clean it with but you know well but we can try to clean it uh, we're just going to uh, whip this guy apart here real quick I mean the reason why things get so dusty on the inside of cases is just the culprit of fans but hey uh, you know what that happens to all cases uh, every case it does have a built in fan it does, does that all the time, but you guys should clean them, uh, like I said, once a, once a month or once or once a day or every day you uh, clean them. But, you know, do be careful on cleaning your equipment, <coughs> stuff like that, because you're constantly going to be, you know, <coughs> taking the device out, like your hard drive or your uh, CD drive. But, yes, this can hold two different types of hard drives and stuff like that but it's a awesome uh, little guy here but yes this is a old case by the way this is not a SATA case by the way guys this is just a very old case let's go and see if we pop this little guy right off here uh, be careful we do have the little OD ribbon cable for the OD and we're just going to put the bracket off to the side now how the world <coughs> do we get the fan out of this thing? Because the problem is, is you have to disassemble most of all of this stuff. But most of these wires gotta be very careful with because most of these wires are, are, are soldered into place. But the 
case is not, I mean, the uh, LD loading cable can be pulled directly out of the large board. And we're just going to disassemble this whole tile thing. And just show you on how dusty this little guy really is. I'm really surprised on how much dust is on the inside of this thing. But hey, you know, sometimes when you leave on one, uh, 24, uh, 24 a day, every day, and you leave it on every single day, this is going to end up happening to you guys. Uh, you just have to make sure you take care of your equipment. And just make sure you find any own screws. And just make sure you pop all the screws out. Just make sure you are getting every single screw out of the case itself to able to pull that many logic board out. Now, there's going to be certain things that we attach to this little board. <coughs> you do have to be careful. You know, because you are dealing with the mini logic board here. Let's make sure we're not yanking too hard on anything here, guys. And, ah. And here is a little guy here. Yeah, it's very dusty on the inside. And there's the connection for the uh, fan. See? There's a the connection for the fan. There's that silly audio keyboard that's connected right there to you. But let's go ahead and dis uh, disconnect some uh, components here. Like some of these wires, we gotta be careful as well because they are very really delicate and uh, can break <coughs> very easily and we don't want to do that. Yep. And that actually came off with the plastic little guy. Be careful. But that happens. Let's make sure you don't mix the little things up as well. And we don't need a large board. All you do is just need that fan to clean that fan completely out of the unit itself. This is how you disassemble the little board. This is the board here. Now the this also comes off, but the PAL uh, cable does not come off. Again, you can also clean this as well too. But we're gonna put that off to the side, and we are going to uh, take out the mini fan. Is connected on the inside of this little unit, and. See if we can actually clean it. That'd be kind of fun to actually clean a little fan on the inside of a DVD uh, unit drive here. Now, if you want to disconnect the fan completely, that's up to you guys. But I recommend you don't do that because you do have to have a certain level of air inside the case. And by the way, you do have multiple different screws, and that is completely fine. Now, let's see if we can slide this guy out here without damage the fan connector itself. And here we have a shield, dust shield, and that's completely fine. We can just go and see what we can do here. I don't know if we can get all out, but it's pretty snug now, I'll tell you. It's really snug. Uh, we can get all out, right guys? I dealt, uh, dealt with all the fans before. There we go. And, ugh, look how dusty that thing is. Look how dusty that guy is. Holy crap. Ugh, look how dusty this thing is. That's gonna get all blown out. Uh, with, uh, with some arrow, arrow can here. So, like, I just how you just assemble this, uh, little guy here. And to show you how loud this fan really is, uh, we forgot to test that as well, but that's fine. Uh, we'll just go ahead and <coughs> test it if we really need to. But I just want to show you on how noisy the fan is. Because uh, I just assembled it before I got the chance. i showing you guys on how loud this fan was. And it's going to have to be connected to the thing. Just to show you on how loud this little fan do is. It's really loud. But that's typically normal. And that's just because the fans are starting to wear out on uh, this unit as well. Now you can also replace the fan if you uh, really need to and stuff like that. But, you know, sometimes just cleaning out the dust actually helps to, you know, keep everything all cleaned and stuff like that. But, like I said, it's, I don't know if it's really a, I don't know if it's a, it's a really a saving type unit here, guys. 
I really don't know if we can save it. But I can show you on how loud this little circuit, the little fan is on this little guy. It's a nice little, it's a nice little unit, you know, just to have for certain things and stuff like that. And, by the way, the other thing going to be quite tricky to fit back in the other thing here. And just make sure you know where everything goes and how everything lines back up. Like it's actually supposed to be. And there we go. I hope we have everything all lined up. Nicely neat. And uh, we're just going to test it out and plug the 12 volt. Uh, 12 volt. Uh, that ought to be back in there. Just make sure you don't. Hold our self here. Uh, now the fan is not making a lot of noise, but it was making noise before. But yeah, it all works, by the way. But we are also going to take this bolt, uh, took it apart, but we are also going to clean everything right as well. But that's about it, guys. This is how you take a bolt and clean your uh, device itself. Alright, guys, if you're new to this channel, Please hit that subscribe button, please leave a comment below, and also like it as well, please share with all your own uh, geeks out there, peace out, bye guys, we'll see you in the next vlog of this unit, uh, some updates on what I did, alright, bye